that the answer to that really lies in terms of the way that we listen, which is a little bit different than in any other venue. We are listening for a troubled past, which is presented in the day-to-day -day material of our patients in a disguised present, so that we are always trying to understand how what's going on now could inform us about some things that we might be speculating about that might have happened a long time ago. Every other person that that patient talks to is really not attuned to trying to link here and now kinds of complaints, you know, about jobs or dating or money or whatever, from things that may have happened a long time ago. And the patient isn't either, because the patient, for reasons of uh, defense, needs to keep, at least initially, these two areas of his mind as if separate. It's as if, you know, my child was always wonderful. You ask a patient, they first say, oh, I had a wonderful child. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> and then they tell me all about the problems they have in their current life. But I know that those two are related. That the things that are going on in his current life will tell me and will ultimately inform me about those earlier relationships that at least initially the patient has very little awareness of. So that's really the distinction between what we're doing. We're always taking a kind of perspective in which we're trying to cull below the surface to see things that are not readily offered to us. And in turn, part of what we're doing is looking back in time and trying to figure out how this particular person became the way they are.